Hello guys, welcome back to our channel at Smart Edu TV. If you are new to this channel, remember to turn on the notification bell and click on the subscription button so that you never miss on an important update. For our old subscribers, thank you for trusting us. Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at mechanics and the topic of discussion is collision. What is collision? Collision is the impact that is felt between two or more bodies at a very short time. The impact that is felt between two or more bodies at a very short time is known as collision. These bodies we are talking about are called rigid bodies. Why? Because they do not deform afterwards collision. Examples of rigid body include what? Car, stone, point masses, the wing of an aeroplane. They are all what? Rigid bodies. Why? We are, we are interested in rigid bodies because a rigid body do not deform afterwards collision. So don't forget, collision is that impact that is felt between two or more bodies at a very short time. That is collision. And it is governed by the conservation of both linear momentum. It is governed by the conservation of linear momentum. For us to understand this data, let's look at some terms that are associated with collision. Or concepts associated with collision. The first concept we are going to be looking at is the conservation of linear momentum. What do we mean by conservation of linear momentum? Conservation, conservation of linear momentum. This concept make us understand that the total momentum before collision should be equal to the total momentum after collision. That is, the momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum afterwards collision. Mathematically, it can be expressed as M1 U1 plus M2 U2 should be equal to what? M1 V1 plus M2 V2. The momentum before collision equals what? Momentum afterwards collision. That is what to be by conservation of linear momentum. The second concept we are going to go to be talking about is the conservation of kinetic energy. The conservation of what kinetic energy? That is conservation of kinetic energy. This simply means that the kinetic energy before collision should be equal to the kinetic energy after collision. The kinetic energy before collision should be equal to what? Kinetic energy afterwards collision. This is applicable to only what? Elastic collision. Please take note of this. This is applicable to only elastic collision. For the first one, it is applicable, applicable to all type of what? Collision. But for the second one, it is only applicable to the kinetic world, to, to elastic world collision. That is what I was trying to say, in terms of kinetic energy, we mean that what the kinetic energy before the collision should be equal to the kinetic energy after collision, that is, half M1 U1 squared plus half M2 U2 squared should be equal to what? Half M1 V1 squared plus half M2 V2 squared. Since momentum is what? Product of mass and velocity. U1 is the initial velocity. U2 is the what? The initial velocity of the second body. V1 is the final velocity of the what? First body. And V2 is the what? Final velocity of the second body. Conservation of kinetic energy. The third concept that we are going to be discussing today is the coefficient of restitution. The coefficient of restitution. Number three. Number three, coefficient of restitution. 
and the symbol is what? Small letter E. Coefficient of restitution. What do we mean by the coefficient of restitution? This simply means that the velocity of what? Of separation of colliding bodies, the ratio of velocity of separation of colliding bodies to the ratio of what? Velocity of approach. That is, coefficient of position letter E is defined as what? The ratio of the velocity of separation of colliding bodies to the ratio of velocity of approach. That is, the ratio of velocity of separation to the ratio of velocity of approach. This can also be written as E equals what? V2 minus V1 over U1 minus U2. Or it can also be written as, if I want to write V1 first, it can be what? V1 minus what? V2 divided by U2 minus what? U1. This is what? Coefficient of restriction. So these are the concepts that we are going to be discussing under what? Collision. This is going to help us to solve problems involving what? Collision. The next thing we are going to be looking at is to look at the what? The classes of collision. What are the main classes of collision? There are two main classes of collision. The first one is called the head-on collision. While the second class is called the oblique collision. What are we trying to say? Classes of collision. Please, the classes of collision is different from the types of collision. We have four different types of collision. But in terms of classes, we have only what, two major what, classes. The first one, that is classes of collision. Classes of collision. So the first one we are going to be talking about is head on collision. Head on collision. What do we mean by what? Head on collision. This happens or this occurs when two bodies collide together in such a way that one of the bodies or the, the, the two bodies, they maintain their, 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 the same line of action. It occurs when two bodies collide together and they maintain that same line of what, action. They are still on the same line of action. That type of collision is called head-on collision. The two bodies collide together and they still maintain the same line of action. For example, let's assume a car so two cars, they approach each other on a, on a particular bridge. After the collision, they still maintain that bridge. They do not leave that bridge. This is, a, this is called what? Head on collision. Why? They maintain the same what? Line of action. They maintain what? They still maintain that bridge. They don't follow up the bridge. That is head on collision. For the second one, that is called oblique. Oblique collision. But this is what the class of collision in which when two bodies collude together, one of the bodies maintain the same line of action while the other body fall off from that one, leave that line of action. In oblique collision, the two bodies do not maintain the same line of action. For instance, when two bodies or when two cars collude with each other on a particular bridge in such a way that one of the cars still maintain that bridge, is still on that bridge, while the other car fall off, fell off of, of, of that bridge. So that is what an oblique collision. So please, let's take, let's take note of this. The two classes of collision are just what? The head-on collision and the oblique collision. After understanding this, the next we are going to look at is to talk about the, what? the types of collision. What are the different types of collision? We have four different types of what? Collision. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be giving us this in form of what, a table so that we can see what happens to the potential energy, what happens to the what, kinetic energy, and also what happens to the coefficient of restitution. So let's take a look at that types of what collision.
So I'm going to give us the form of the table, the types. We want to see what happens to the potential energy, also what happens to the kinetic energy, and what happens to our quotient of position E. So this is given in form of what? In form of the table. Okay? So the next thing we are going to be looking at is the types of collision. So here, it has been given in form of the table. We've seen the types of collision, what happens to the potential energy, what happens to the kinetic energy, and what happens to the coefficient of resistance. For elastic collision, our potential energy is conserved. For the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy before collision equals kinetic energy after the collision. Our coefficient of resistance equals 1. For only what? Elastic collision. Please take note of this. It is only in elastic collision that the value of E equals 1. For in elastic collision, our potential energy is also conserved. Our kinetic energy before collision is greater than the kinetic energy after the collision. And our coefficient of precision is less than 1. For the top type, we are perfectly in elastic collision. What happens to the potential energy? You can see the potential energy is also conserved. Our kinetic energy after collision equals zero. And the coefficient of precision also equals what? Zero. For the last type of collision, we have super elastic collision. Super elastic collision. Similarly, for super elastic collision, our potential energy is also what? Conserved. Our kinetic energy before the collision is less than the kinetic energy after the collision. And also, our coefficient of position E is greater than 1. The coefficient of position E is greater than what? 1. So this is a special case. This case only occurs in, in place of what? Bomb or a bomb blast. So this is what? A special case of what? Collision. Which only occurs anytime there is what? There is a bomb blast. That is the only scenario where we have the coefficient of position E to be greater than 1. Thank you.